Welcome back. While New York's governor battles brand new accusations of sexual harassment, his brother is catching some heat of his own. CNN anchor Chris Cuomo conveniently ignoring the breaking news about the report during his primetime show last night. And here's how he covered the story previously. Even lifelong Republicans tell me they look at Cuomo and they're like, God, there's a leader. You have to wonder what it's like to be in your shoes with the weight of this responsibility. I hope you are able to appreciate what you did in your state and what it means for the rest of the country now and what it will always mean to those who love and care about you the most. I'm wowed by what you did. And more importantly, I'm wowed by how you did it. Joining us now is Fox News contributor Joe Concha. Joe, I guess hindsight is 2020, but I feel like the answer last night would have been to have perhaps someone else fill in for Cuomo and, and, and cover the story if, you know, Chris Cuomo himself or CNN didn't want him to cover it. What's your take? Yeah, Jillian, I said this on the air yesterday. I'll say it again. He should not have been on the air last night, that, be, that being Chris Cuomo. He, they should have put somebody in there who resembles a journalist and not an activist who has the title of anchor and plays one on TV. So, look, Andrew Cuomo won't resign, at least for now. Uh, that's not what narcissists do, particularly in power. There's also a second narcissist Cuomo, and that's the aforementioned Chris Cuomo. From this perspective, this anchor should also resign and go work for the Democratic Party, particularly when you think about what has happened in aggregate since he has been so-called covering this story for CNN, a once very proud news network that had a very good brand in the days of Bernard Shaw, and we're talking a long time ago, unfortunately. Chris Cuomo got access to VIP COVID testing from his brother, Governor, when almost no one could get tested early in the pandemic in New York. CNN says and does nothing. Chris Cuomo, on multiple occasions, when interviewing his brother, if you want to call him interviews because they're really PR stunts, never broached the nursing home death told cover-up that one of his own aides, and that being Andrew Cuomo, actually admitted to, per CNN reporting. CNN does nothing unless heavily promoting keeping up with the Cuomos is considered something. And this isn't playing well inside of CNN either. This is what one uh, staffer said. I think that as journalists, it's our responsibility to act in the most responsible possible way to not only maintain journalistic integrity, but also the public trust in journalism and television news. And the fact that Chris Cuomo wasn't fired over his inappropriate conflict of interest in actively affecting a news story is not only irresponsible for CNN, but also a disgrace to journalism. That's somebody mm. at CNN mm. saying that. And then, of course, you had Chris Cuomo advising his brother. Right. Here's how you beat sexual harassment allegations. Well, oh, my goodness. How is he not How is he not fired at that point once that was revealed, well, Joe, he, we also need to point out that Chris Cuomo got confidential information. According to the report, quote, the governor's team of advisors from within and outside the chamber had ongoing and regular discussions about how to respond to the allegations publicly. They were regularly provided with confidential and often privileged information about state operations and help make decisions that impacted state business and employees, all without any formal role due duty or obligation to the state. Then there's this next step with Chris Cuomo actually drafting a statement for the governor. It says, quote, this is what Chris Cuomo wrote on behalf of his bro. Sometimes I am playful and make jokes. You have seen me do it at briefings hundreds of times. My only desire is to add some levity and banter to what is a very serious business. I now understand that my interactions may have been insensitive or too personal and that some of my comments, given my position, made others feel in way I never intended. I'm sorry and feel deeply embarrassed about that. You said... Cuomo's, both of them, should resign. Does CNN ultimately fire Chris Cuomo? No. Of course not. They, they won't do that. Uh, what, what were we speaking about earlier? I had to write it down. Speckled uh, tooth owl, right? It, it, it's one of those endangered species. Uh, it, it, that, that's like the way Chris Cuomo is going to be treated here, as if we can't get rid of them. You know, we, we can't do that uh, in this situation. At any other news organization, at any other time, any other place, Cuomo would have been jettisoned or at least suspended. That is hasn't even happened, where it's like, hey, Chris, take a seat for a while for what you did. And what does he do last night on his show? He leads with Ron DeSantis, hey, look at that Republican governor right. over there, does not mention his brother's story, which was the lead story in the New York Times, Washington Post, and every newscast across the country. He doesn't even touch it. And no questions asked. And that's why CNN won't fire him. If they didn't take him off the air last night, you think they're going to do it going forward? Of course not. And he can't even draw even 900,000 viewers at this point, as, which is amazing. So it's not like, well, he draws great ratings. Right. He's untouchable. No, he doesn't. He's very uh, expendable, but it's just not happening at this point, guys. All right. Joe Concha. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you. Always a pleasure. See you tomorrow. Okay. Time now 